hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel thank you thank you for tuning in please don't forget to do the lost work i'm actually just gonna wait for a few seconds for you to do the lost work before i proceed uh what is the lost work don't forget you have to subscribe lost work mean means you have to subscribe you have to you have to uh like give my my video a like um share share the video because i'm sharing some very important content for for those that uh care um so today i want to talk about the contracts in south korea um i'm gonna talk for myself the schools are different you have your international schools you have your public schools you have your hagwan your hagwan is you have your kindergartens so i'm just gonna share my two cents so basically in south korea uh, the benefits of working here is that you don't pay for your housing. The school actually does pay for your housing. How how cool is that? And then um, you you your your health insurance. So should you fall sick in Korea because uh, the medical bills this side are very expensive, probably because they are the best. Like they're so good with the um, with their medical whatever. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah it's expensive so but you get to pay half of it and your school is gonna pay half of it which is not bad if you are sick you don't have to pay a lot of money for hospital and the other benefit is that at the end of the contract you get double the salary it's called a severance pay uh which of which i'm getting very soon i'm so excited it will be my second one but anyway it will be text it's, it still get text but you, yeah you only get it when you complete your contract but if you decide to leave in the middle of the contract you're not gonna get it unfortunately um so yeah those are the benefits of working as a teacher in korea so but i think the most important thing that you you need to look at is that you are not signing under an agent i've already said that with the china video don't sign under an agent don't sign two contracts make sure you are signing directly um with the school because i do have a girl that i know uh she actually signed one contract in south africa and that contract was for an agent and the contract states that they're gonna take half of her salary for the first three months <laughs> of working for that school so they're like we found you a school so you are kind of like paying us back which is so wrong because here in korea same applies to china if an agent finds you the school is gonna pay the agent you don't pay any agent any money you don't pay any agent any money you don't pay an agent any money in korea in china in wherever because the school is covering that is already paying the agent so the agent if an agent asks you to pay the money they are actually thieving they are thieving from you the other important thing that i would like to also mention that is that do not send your documents to korea because it, with korea is a bit different from china you have to send your documents to to korea and they have to do something so you get your visa in south african uh, in, in south korean embassy in south africa right so it's different so if you don't have a contract do not send your documents to anybody make sure before you send a, before you send your documents you have a contract and it's not with an agent it is with the school that part is very very important so you must look at things like utilities right in your contract they will tell you that um you have to pay for your utilities that is the standard right and then um like every contract is actually different but some contracts are just dodgy they are just dodgy and you just need to ask questions and i'm gonna say this again i've already said it in with the china video is that um make your research about the school before signing because some schools um they will give you a big salary you'll be excited for the big salary but uh you won't know that you'll be throw you're throwing yourself into the deep end and it's not gonna be nice your mental health is gonna suffer you're gonna wish you never came to korea so pay attention to such things it is very important to ask about the school before you sign a contract that part is very very it's very very crucial it's very very important we have uh, groups on facebook south africans living in south korea you just post if you are shy 
post as anonymous and ask like do you guys know of this school in this city because other schools they are it depends on the branch some some branches are good some branches are bad so you find that the school has a lot of branches but not all of them are bad so do make make sure you tell them like which city you ask which city you tell them which city it is and also with the name of the school then they will tell you and you can even just like search go to the group and search for that school you'll find some reviews or someone's saying something about that school so basically doing your research is very important and yeah your flight ticket do make sure um you send it to them so they can give you they, they they can give you the money send them the receipt so they can they can give you the money so make sure when you send the flight ticket you send the flight ticket that you are going to book don't send something don't don't send the flight tickets today like uh, the quotation or whatever the price today to your school and tomorrow you you don't book at that moment you book the following day so the, the following day the price might, might have gone up or the flight might have been cancelled so make sure not even cancelled just like the prices fluctuate with flights they go up and down right so make sure you send the the total amount of the flight that you are booking because i think this is the mistake that i made i sent a price that i just saw i was just browsing and i saw a price but i was not paying at that moment i was going to pay for the following day when i went to check the following day the price has gone up so my school was like this is what you gave us this is what we're gonna give you right <laughs> so it was a loss for me um so do make sure you send the the flight uh receipt that you are you'll be booking or yeah itinerary that you'll be booking um what else about the korean contracts so, oh yeah before you come make sure they send you the pictures of the room of your apartment it's very important because some apartments you come here there is no bed there is no mattress there is a teacher that told i heard that she slept on a on a yoga mat <laughs> because there's no bed there's no furniture there's nothing so ask for the pictures if you can try to find get hold of a teacher that's working there currently and ask her as many questions as possible why are you leaving right uh some schools will refuse to give you the contact of the outgoing teacher for their own reasons maybe because maybe they didn't have a good relationship or it is not a good school they know for sure that um you are the other teacher is gonna bash the school so do try to find out who is the teacher there get hold of them ask them questions you know because the school wants you to come they don't really care about many things but the teacher that works there is the one that will tell you the real gist of what is happening so that part is very important too before signing your contract um what else about korea i can't think of many other things so yeah so i signed a contract with with a kindergarten um yeah be careful of schools that send too many contracts for you to sign so let's say you signed your first contract and you were happy with it and for some reasons they want they want to send you another contract and it's not the same so pay attention to that it's very important yeah some schools are dodgy like that they'll send you multiple contracts with different details so do make sure that you sign a contract that that suits you make it all about you right because you are leaving your family you are leaving the people you love you are leaving the the country you are comfortable with in a foreign land where people speak a different language where people look different from you they eat different food the culture is different so protect your peace by all means protect your mental health by all means and yeah be careful of the contracts and then be careful of the agents as well it is very very important and yeah that's basically that that's basically that look at your sick leave days um don't sign a contract that says you only have one sick leave day like that is already dodgy right sign a contract that has three sick leave days because what if you get sick and then 
more than three days or more than more than two days so it means you are going to pay out of your pocket you know they're gonna deduct money from your salary so for the whole year you go you are allowed to get sick only once <laughs> So people have different health conditions like for me i've never been off sick um it's just by god's grace but there are people who constantly get sick so make sure you don't sing, sign only for one day at least three days and then some some hagwans or some academies they'll be like um we give you 10 days um 10 days holiday five days in in summer and five days in winter so there's this hard one that i worked for what that lady said did was like i work like my holiday will be wednesday thursday friday and then she also count saturday sunday as five days right so it means my 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 winter or summer holidays were only three days because why am i why why did she count saturday and sunday those are not my waking days. So ask those questions. Ask those questions. Don't come here and get surprised. Because, you know, if I have five days, it means I should have my I should have Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Monday, Tuesday. Right? That is five days. Because those are the five waking days, including weekends, is gonna be seven days. So do pay attention to stuff like that. And yeah and i found out later that i was working for a freelance i was under a freelance visa i didn't even know what that is so do make sure you are under e2 visa i don't know how to make sure of that because i didn't know <laughs> so yeah it caused problems for me when i had to renew with a new school they only allowed me to renew for six months instead of a year so it means uh, i had to go back uh, in six months again to the immigration it's a lot of work so do make sure of that as well and yeah severance pays whatever they must be included in the contract and you must see also in the contract you must include like if you decide to leave you're not happy with the school you decide that's it i'm leaving you guys uh how many months notice or how many days notice you have to serve before you leave them yes yeah that's all about korea i mean i think maybe i might have left something very important but that's all i have in mind right now um yes thank you for watching my video please don't forget to like share and subscribe also you can um, tell me what you want me to cover what topics you want me to cover and i'll do research if i already know i'll just share it right away thank you for watching bye